is because someone is stealing your money hey! and giving it out to people. Hey. People wait for their turn instead of people to say that this system must be turned upside down. Mm -hmm. Nonsense. Wow. What was the question? <laughs>
He can now take up a cleaning job at Asso Rock Restaurant. There in Queens, yeah. He's now qualified. <laughs> Number six. Hundreds of Nigerian immigration lawyers in America are today filling forms to enroll in Nigerian law school. Oh, really? Yeah, because, because there's nothing else to do in America. The immigrants have got their papers. Number five. Kosi Ojako has now decided to relocate to Las Vegas. Mm. Yeah, she, 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 she did not find a job as a showgirl. <laughs> yeah. Number four, talented African women will now come out of the shadows and give Kim Kardashian a run for her money. Look, look, look at them, look at them, look at them. Wow. Yeah, they got it. Number three, Stephen Keshi, I was told, has already secured a job as, uh, at a Burger King in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> yeah, the, the law is helping people, you know, Ooh. helping a lot of our people. Number two, Prince William has indicated that while visiting America next month, he will take a few hours a day to, mm. to work and support the Queen. You know, the Queen has problem paying, paying, hey. paying her bills. Yeah. And the one, one thing that changed is for saving the poor immigrants in America, Pope Francis is considering making Obama a saint when he visits America next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, St. Obama. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, in Obama's home country of Kenya, men are stripping naked women who put on miniskirts. Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. The men said that these miniskirts are insulting the sensibilities of their God. Hmm. Now, you will have thought that these men would have gone there to buy blankets and cover these women up. Hmm. But no, instead of doing that, the little that she's wearing, they will strip it off. Oh. It doesn't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't. But like everything African, you know, there, there's a reason. They have an argument. Hmm. And the men said that their holy book told them that those who do not have, even the little they have, yeah. shall be taken away. Oh. <laughs> That's how they read it. I'm ashamed of this, my Kenyan brothers. When you tell them to follow seasoned pastors like Chris or Yekin Love, <laughs> they refuse. Really? Yeah. Instead, they choose all these roadside pastors who have no private jets or PhD. <laughs> that's, that's their problem. That's how they get this thing mixed up. Now, forget about Kenyans. Thursday was President Goodluck Jonathan's 57th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, my Mr. President. Yeah. It came a day after Nigeria's super ego drew with South Africa yes. at, wow. the, at the Aquaibom International Stadium. Mm, the new wow. stadium, yeah, right? Yeah, the new one. By failing to qualify for the African Cup of Nations, mm. I doubt if there will be more international matches playing there. <laughs> Nothing, it will be Look close. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, to celebrate the President's birthday in a way to distract Nigerians from their frustration over these super egos, mm. the President tactically approved tactically approved the drama that took place at the National Assembly in Abuja. <laughs> he just told David Mack, you know, do, 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 you know. <laughs> did, did you watch it? Did you watch it? Yes. It was bombastico bombastico. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Lawmakers trying to get into the National Assembly were locked out. Hey. Yeah. No, no. It wasn't, it wasn't on the order of patients, Jonathan. That was what I thought initially. No, it wasn't. It was on the orders of David Mack. Hmm. What? Now, trouble started when some people decided that the Speaker of the House of a Representative and his APC friends mm. should not get into the chambers of the National Rep House of Rep. Why? Yeah, they said no, they can't get in there. They used the police, the SSS, the army to block the gate. Wow. Now, those who tried to get in, they were tear gassed. Mm. <laughs> but trust our lawmakers, they climbed the fence. <laughs> they climbed the fence. Just watch. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Hmm? That was President Jonathan's gift to the nation on his birthday. I didn't know that our lawmakers could jump fences. I, I didn't know. Now, now with scores of such well-paid potential recruits, eh? why are we looking for, why are we looking for soldiers to fight Boko Haram? These, these are potential soldiers. They could go out there, give them a gun. Now, now, as a result of these great performances by our lawmakers, a new law now requires that for you to be a member of the National Assembly, you must be able to jump fences. 
Yeah, you have to. You have to. Now, wow. but, what that means is that someone like Dr. Doinoku is disqualified. Oh, <laughs> he, can, he cannot. I mean, he tried. Look, he tried. He tried to jump. Look, watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> he tried, he tr wow. but no, he's disqualified. <laughs> the sad thing was that this happened the day after President Goodluck Jonathan urged politicians to avoid do or die politics. Yes. Hey. Yeah, you think I'm making it up? Watch. I plead with all of us that we should not play the do or die, except I get to let the party sink. He, he said it, he said it. I guess he was just, he just wanted to show them what he meant by do or die politics. <laughs> a day before all this drama, Jonathan made a great speech to his party members. In that speech, he unveiled the inner workings of Jonathan. Mm. You can call it the Jonathan Doctrine. <laughs> Watch. Sometimes you get something in my own life, something like that. The things I look for hardly get. It's what I don't even think about it, but sometimes I get. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The things I look for, I hardly get. Mm. But sometimes the things I don't look for, I get. <laughs> you see, you see? You don't have to worry anymore. All of you, you don't have to worry. The president wants a second term. Mm -hmm. All you need to say is, thank God you want a second term. Well, thank God he wants it. <laughs> you don't have to be worried. <laughs> he wants it, and God is watching. Now, during that event, the president took the time to present the difference between his PDP and the APC. Mm. He has never been done, and it's so clear. Watch. There's always a difference between the iron I used by PDP, the, 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 the dressing of the youths, the, the gallant youths, the beautiful women, and their colors. Wow. <laughs> he said that they have beautiful women, and the APC, they don't have beautiful women. <laughs> he, he's right. Uh, was it not long ago that we asked her a question, shall we tell the president? Shall we? Shall we tell the president? It's always a question that is very important. We don't know what to tell him, what not to tell him. Mm. And the answer we got was no, because his body language was he didn't want to know. Mm. Yeah. But that was not enough for Catholic bishops. Mm. The other day went, they went to Abuja and they met with the president. Mm. Here is their leader speaking after the meeting. Watch. Uh, that things are not right. Uh, territorially, our land is being taken away. Then the people we look after are displaced. Their homes, their villages, their towns are captured and they are internally displaced, really refugees in their own land. We thought this is not right. We have families that are just stranded and we thought the Mr. President should know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The man is not afraid. Huh? He said things are not right in the country. I mean, is, oh, is this something that a trip to Jerusalem cannot cure, Mr. Bishop? Yeah, Bishop? Is it? Hello. Tell us. Anyway, in Boko Haram news, we heard this week that this government has spent over $31 billion what? on security in the last five years. $31 hey, billion. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, what, did they, what did they use it for? Eh? Right. That, that is the question. Hmm. Okay, okay, watch. This government has spent $32 billion in the last five years on security. They should tell Nigerians precisely how that $32 billion was spent. Doing what? Which arm of the military took that money? What technology did we buy with it? There is God! Oh, oh no. I, I thought it was said by somebody serious. Yeah? Oh. Forget about it. it. It was said by Lai Mohammed. Forget that. I thought it's something serious. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. In, in fact, I rather I rather listen to the first lady no, eh? than than stand to listen to that liar Mohammed. Oh. Watch watch the first lady. I said ah. she carry a lot of women. Oh. She has money. Oh. I don't have money. <laughs> I said, I said, uh, she carry a lot of money. Oh. She has money. Oh. I don't have money. Oh. 
<laughs> I hope that inspired you. Huh? Mm. If only the subject can agree with the verb mm. in her speeches. That, that woman is smart too. Mm. Anyway, meanwhile, meanwhile, Senate, Senate President, Senator mm. David Mack. Mm. Mm. Mack himself. He has woken up. Hey. He woke up this week. Uh, watch, we watch him. Clearly, Boko Haram has declared war on this country and we must fight this war with all the resources at our disposal. There is no half measure in it. It's not a matter of state of emergency anymore. It is a total war. And we must bring all our war resources to bear on Boko Haram. Wow. Yeah. He, he said it. Boko Haram has declared war on this nation. Since when? <laughs> it's no more a matter of state of emergency. Mm. Yeah, the man has... Just watch what he's going to do in the next two days. Mm. In Castina State, the governor, Mr. Shima, was caught on tape telling supporters to crush and kill political opponents. Oh. Yeah. He even called them cockroaches. <laughs> That's the same name that the Hutsus in Rwanda called the Tutsis before they killed, before they killed 800,000 of them. Yeah, in, in 100 days. Watch, watch the governor talking. <laughs> Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? It, it pays to belong to the right political party. Yeah? If that man has been an APC governor, the police will have framed him up. <laughs> they will have framed him. Yeah. Anyway, talking about talks in government, the Ekiti state governor, Mr. Fayose, this week gathered seven state assembly members and impeached the speaker of the state assembly. Wow. Yeah, seven of them, they impeached the speaker. The mm -hmm. <laughs> and the speaker came out and told the media, let me quote, he said, this illegality in a kitty state cannot stand. Mm. <laughs> Who will tell this man that he's the first victim of stomach infrastructure? <laughs> he's just the first one. More are coming. Eh? Wow. Now, this latest impeachment happened the same day that the former militant and now a current contractor for the federal government, Mr. Uh, Tompolo. Mm, topi. Yeah, he kidnapped journalists and framed them as gun runners. Mm. Wow. Now, now, let me ask you just one honest question. What is the difference between Governor Fayose and uh, Tompolo? Mm. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. One operates from a government house. The other one is the government. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah, yeah. You know, That's a good one. You know what? You know what? Let us check in again with the first lady because she's been speaking. Uh, no, damn patient, Jonathan. Let's let's watch what she's saying. Listen. We are in my own state. All the women gathered. She teach us skills accusation. She teach us what to do. <laughs> Uh, we are in my own state. All the women gathers. <laughs> she teach us skills like a Christian <laughs> and teach us what to do. <laughs> now, now you know, you know this woman is very smart. Except that verbs don't agree with her subjects. Eh? How how do I know that? I have the same problem. So I could see when I see that. I, I'm telling you, if someone can just. Minor adjustment. Minor, minor adjustment. She will be all right. Now, talking about women gathering, we now check the health of Nigeria's economy from the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjewala. Mm. Yes, this week, Ngo Baby, Ngo Baby dropped the A word. Yes, mm. yeah, she used it, austerity. No, <laughs> With crude oil heading down towards $70 a barrel. Go baby is now ringing the bell, alarm bell. Oh, things are trouble everywhere, trouble. <laughs> but the corruption train has already left the bus. Train stop. Moved on. Go, go baby. What is the latest thing? Go, tell us. Hello, I can't hear you. Hello, go. What? <laughs> you can't hear us, go baby. Hello. Go cannot hear us. <laughs> now this is our weekly TB watch. Whoa. Yes. This is when we look at what's the latest on mm. Prophet TB Joshua. Mm. Now, this week, the Nigerian government came under great pressure to drop the probe 
into that collapsed uh, wow, yo, hostel. Wow, yo, yes. Wow, Different groups were pushing the Lagos State government to forget and forget and forget and forget. Well, yeah, yeah. But in a phone conversation, the prophet talked about how it will all end. Listen to, listen to the prophet. I said there will be a deadly disease. It's disease which will come out and be so deadly. Uh, I mentioned it part of one of the prophecy. When you go on the internet, you'll find it like that. I was foreseen what is coming. So I was foreseen what is coming. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, f I was foreseen. <laughs> I, I was foreseen how it's going to end. I foresee how it's going to end. No, no, no. He, he already foresees how it's going to end. Now, here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. 2015, Obasanjo and I have agreed to save Nigeria, says former Vice President Atiku. <laughs> no, I will now pause, I will pause for you to laugh, yeah. I'll pause, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let, let, let me know when you are done laughing. <laughs> now, now, now but, but, but seriously, what if they want to refund that 16 billion hmm. they wasted in power reform that did not generate any electricity for us? Yes, yeah? yes, during what their if? time. Right? Maybe that's what they are talking about. <laughs> Oh. Nigeria will not be broke. Terrible. My husband's administration has changed lives of Nigerians, mm. says patient Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's very modest, eh? Our lovely so first lady. You are very modest. You should have said that he transformed our lives so much oh, that we no longer know the difference between stealing and corruption. Oh, <laughs> no difference between Gary and Indomie. Oh, Agege yeah. bread and cassava bread. No hey. difference. Transformed. Wow. <laughs> 16 billion dollars processing zone. Stop insulting me, Jonathan tells Ishekiri. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ishekiri people are insulting the president. Yeah? Yeah. I guess doing you know, a threat to, to five people insulting Jonathan has failed. <laughs> I, I have a radical idea. Why, why not ignore them? <laughs> <laughs> Speaker Tambua drops out of presidential race. Mm. Now, 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 when I had that, I almost, I almost had a heart attack. Eh? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, don't do this again Just to me. Eh? If you become president, who will become the governor of Sokoto State? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I will be president in 2015, says Governor Rochas Okorocha. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> At, at first, I thought it was a classic 419 thing. Eh? Yeah. And any card you take, you win. <laughs> <laughs> then Don Yinokubo explained that it was just another case of another politician who has not been taking his medication. <laughs> the man has not been taking his medication. Probably right. I am very, very romantic, says Governor Babagida Aliu oh, of oh, Niger State. Yeah. Huh? He's very, very romantic. I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very happy for his wives and girlfriends. Yeah, man. Mm. <laughs> My dear governor, eh? you are romance with our money. That is the one that worries me. That's all. The one you, you are romance with our money. That, that's about the women. Good. But our money, stay away. <laughs> money laundering. Court acquits Fanny Kayode of 38 or 40 counts. Yeah. Now, 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 two more charges. Just two more charges. The man will celebrate yes. by, by doing, uh, sorry, I mean, by, um, <laughs> by, by drawing some lines. I don't, no, 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 drawing some, some lines. Line. Yeah. What kind of lines? No, draw. <laughs> hey, doctor. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hmm. 2015, Quara people will decide, says Saraki. Hmm. Now, now, this is a radical idea hmm. for a Saraki to recognize that there are people who live in Kwara State other than the Sarakis. <laughs> eh? And for him to think that these people can think. This is a radical departure. I mean, oh, yeah. seriously. Is he running for president? He should run for president. <laughs> Something has changed. Go, the president of Kwara State. <laughs> Go on and co to federal government. Block Boko Haram food supply. Mm. You know this Gowan. He's, he's here again. Oh, this is not Biafra, Mr. Gowan. Eh? Mm. Don't let the yeah. children die in Northeast. Yeah, don't don't starve them to death. Mm. Starvation is not a weapon of war. Go on. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Nigeria, 2015. Only Abga can win Lagos for Jonathan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you see, see, this is what happens when you get comedians joining politics. Huh? Only Abga can win Lagos for Jonathan. Just, just think about it. Abga, Lagos, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, terrible. Internet revolution can destroy scholarship, says Professor Wole Shoinka. Mm, wow. Now, now um, um, you got this one wrong, Prof. Prof, eh? you got this one wrong. There was no internet when President Jonathan got his PhD. There was no internet. How, how? That was when scholarship got destroyed. Yeah, that, from that point, everything yawa. <laughs> Buhari bests Jonathan and others again in online poll, reports Sahara reporters. Now, 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 don't you know, don't you, don't you, don't you. Eh? Could you please tell the Sahara people that result like this qualifies as an insult on the president? Yes. You can't, you can't be publishing things like this. It's an insult. I don't know how bullets left my AK-47, says dismissed DPO to court. You know what? You know what? You know what I think we should do to this man? I think we should just tell him that we don't know where we lost the key to your prison. Let him, let him just stay there. The same thing. It's time for your... Email! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. So, do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, please, may we hear them, please. Okay, our first email is from Malam Ilya. He writes, Dear doctor, where are you, doctor? Your silence is strengthening the status quo. I be the allegation by the PDP and APC bought you a house in USA has finally checkmated your ability to say the truth mm -hmm. as it is. Mm -hmm. Doctor, nobody in his rightful sense will believe that allegation because if money can buy your conscience, I swear with the grave of my ancestor, PDP can offer you one billion dollars from the missing 20 billion. Good. If in doubt, ask point blank. Aha. Hey! Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for bringing this up. You know, <laughs> I was mad when I saw that story. Hmm. What will I do to get respect around here? Hmm. Eh? For three years, each week, I bust my behind hmm. to hmm. diagnose Nigeria. Hmm. And all I get is this lousy t-shirt that says my representative scale through the fence. <laughs> <laughs> eh? <laughs> when your president drinks Ogogoro, hmm. I tell you, when you are opposition leader, Tinubu smokes Ibo, I tell him, <laughs> what do I need to do to get any respect? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway. Next. <laughs> okay. Our second email is from Orji Ogun in Enugu State. That's my friend. Yeah. We used to eat Akara. You and Orji. On Obwete Market. Ask him. You. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway. Hi, Dr. Damages, Kwenu. This is my first time writing, though I watch your show always. Your last episode is something else. I love it. Please keep it up. God bless Sahara TV. Uh -huh. God bless you too. And for the 5 million house allegation about Sahara TV founder, he should not be scared. If they come, he should collect his own share. No time more over now. Honorable meal. Yeah. They gonna give him. Mm. Tomato Joss, your intonation and ah. phonetics ah. is sexuality. Oh, 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 <laughs> I thought Oji was a serious man. <laughs> what, what do you, how do you bring Tomato Joss into this serious issue about five million dollars house? Hmm. Do you understand that? Five million. Anyway, Oji, Oji, do you know why you are drinking water comes from a tanker? Hmm. Do you? Do you know why your cooking gas comes in a cylinder? Hmm. Hmm. Do you know why there is smoke inside a taxi that takes you from MIT to a the market? Hmm. Yeah? Do you know why there are no equipment in your hospital? Eh? It's because someone is stealing your money hey. and giving it out to people. Hey. People wait for their turn instead of people to say that this system must be turned upside down. Hmm. Nonsense. Next! Our third email is from d in India. He writes, Hey, Dr. D. Dr. D. So that's uh, the name you go by now. No, I mean, this is people, you know, anyway. people I used to hang out with. Hey, Dr. D. Yeah. I started watching your show a month back, and I must say, bravo to you all. Please, kindly inform all Nigerians that those who are too smart to engage in politics are punished by being governed by those who are dumber. Mm. Wow. Tell them, if a lunatic can be a president, uh, they can be also. Uh, 
that's not my words though, he wrote it. And remember, I am because you are. And you are because I am. Hey. Bravo to you and your team. <laughs> Keep it up. My friend, my friend, <laughs> I don't like I don't like what you said about the president. Huh? The Shakiri people called him a coward hmm. this week. And you are here insinuating something else. Mm -hmm. huh? Uh, don't you people get tired? <laughs> but um, you are right, you are right. Politics, politics, the wise man said, should not be left for, for in the hands of politicians alone. <laughs> it's too serious. <laughs> we should be involved. You, yes. <laughs> Insulting him on his birthday. Oh, hey, that's a good point. That's <laughs> a good point. Yeah, how can you do that? How can you? Huh? Already they called him names. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Our fourth email is from Abba from Yola and Adamawa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember, he's, he wrote the other time. You know yeah, Abba. I know Abba, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, doctor. Yes. I am one of your regular viewers of your show. I want to I ask. <laughs> I want to ask about those American soldiers that came to help Nigeria to fight Boko Haram. <laughs> Where are they? Boko Haram has been threatening our lives here in northern parts of the country. More easily, Adamawa where Boko Haram has captured the whole of the northern zone and now heading to the central zone. Doctor, with bad luck, Jonathan 2015, our lives is in total jeopardy. Ah, mm. ah my friend, my friend, I am sorry mm. to hear about you, the plight of people in, in the northeast. Mm. I also asked myself the same question about the American soldiers. Now, the first batch of soldiers that came, they went to Chad. Mm. I understand that from Chad, they were peeping into Nigeria and they saw our soldiers, things they saw our soldiers doing, they made them to be discouraged. Mm. And they went on and discouraged the American government from giving, giving us uh, helicopters that we need to fight Boko Haram. Mm. Yeah, that, it was the eyewitness report. Mm. And it's, it's, it's not their fault. I don't blame them. Not at all. I hope things will get well over there in the Northeast. Next. <laughs> okay, our fifth email is from CC in Anambra State in Nigeria. Yeah. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I hate your jokes from the day you began to speak against the Prophet TB Joshua. Ah. I especially lost interest ah. when you posted Prophet TB Joshua with a horn on his head. Ah. You are a disappointment to Igbos. Ah. Do your joke and leave the Prophet alone. Ah. Eh? Ah. Hm. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Alone. I'm so sorry to hear this, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, your Prophet has a regular segment on our show now. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing I can do about that. He paid for this segment, mm -hmm. at least for the next six months. Money. Yeah. I will, however, tell him that you, you, a follower of the prophet, is going about hating people. Hmm. He won't like that. No. Nope. Now, about putting a horn on his head, yeah? would you have preferred that he suffered the same thing that uh, the disciples of Christ suffered? Yeah, yeah they, some of them were killed. Is that better than putting a horn on his head? You Christians of nowadays, you just, every small thing you get upset. Get, you, you're pampered. Cheer up. Christians of nowadays. Yeah, like you. I'll pray for you. <laughs> Uh, next, oh, our sixth email is from Latifat in is that England. Queen Latifa? Huh? Me, I don't know. Where, where this is? is England. Oh, England. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, it can okay. still work, Queen yeah, England. Yeah, 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 anyway, yeah. she okay. writes, yeah, okay. Hi, Doctor Damages. Without your episode, my week is not complete. Oh. I particularly enjoy. This episode. is the kind of email I like. Those. Anyway, go ahead. Nobody likes you. Not everybody <laughs> can like you. Okay, go ahead. I particularly enjoyed episode 162 wow. and how you referred to Dr. Wibin Abati as President Jonathan's political prisoner. Mm -hmm. I get it. Please keep up the good work. Oh. God bless you and the entire Sahara Reporters crew. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for getting that particular joke. Hmm. Eh? People keep asking me, explain this to me, explain this to me. How can I explain a joke to you? Eh? It's not fun. When you have to explain a joke, that means that the medulla of Blangata is leaking. It's gone. It's leaking. <laughs> Next. Okay, our final email is from Dele in Ottawa Valley, Canada. Oh. Oh. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. Good job, Ducky. The operating room behind you is well equipped. Are you ever going to operate on someone before people start healing themselves? Uh, because you only diagnose. Uh, awesome weekly news digest. Keep it up, Dr. Damages Crow. Oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. You see, we, when we are not on air, this place is busy. Mm -hmm. Lord, and we get the um, mm -hmm. organs and everything. But the thing is that all our patients, they refuse to sign uh, consent. Hmm. 
you know, privacy. They say that they don't want us to show them on TV. Exactly. But we have a patient coming in next week. Uh, no, not next week. The next week. The following. The, the following week. Mm -hmm. That that we are going to put him on camera. Oh, he already yes. signed. He already signed. You see us in action. Mm -hmm. But make sure that you'll be willing to watch because there'll be blood everywhere. See everywhere. my hand. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. No, I won't touch it. Anyway, me. next. That's that's it. That's that's all the time we have for um, emails. No, actually, there's a voicemail for you. Ah. Somebody left a voicemail. A voicemail. Message. Yes. What in this office? Let's listen. Okay. All right. Let's hear that. You have one new voice message. Hi, Ogada Mages. How are you and the delectable tomato jaws? Oga, I swear that your nest, like you take and borrow me one day. I get some good, good ideas for our more wallahi. Anyway, I've been watching your show for a while now. And I think you are a cheat. Yes, I said it. You are a cheat. Because you make it look as if, say, not only Niger get wahala. Here in Ghana, we face filth in the capital city, high interest rates, rising cost of kenke and fufu, and even a hike in the fees for the ladies of the night. That is the biggest indicator that life is hard. Despite all of these, we in Ghana use what we call the Kwak 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 mechanism to survive. Those who apply Kwak 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 will survive. Those who don't work 9 to 5. If you invite me, I'll come and give you Nigerians a lecture in Kwak 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 101. In the meantime, let me leave you with some words culled out of the Dictionary of Ghanaian Pronunciation of English Words. Here goes. Junction. Junction. Gang leader. Gangalia. Traffic indicator. Trafigator. Balloon. Balu. By all means. By all means. I will be dropping more GH pronunciations next time. But until then, kisses to tomato jaws and a blow to you, your friend, depending on if you lend me tomato jaws. Kojo, assuming Bonsu. Nyama, from Ghana, the Pak 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 Specialist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, my friend, I understand this, I understand what's going on. Eh? Mm. Let, you know what, I got a video of what you are referring to. Hmm. Watch. Pak Pak Pak. Do you know Pak Pak Pak? You have to tell me that. <laughs> yes, Pak Pak Pak. But it's a movement. If you move, you pass here, you pass here, you pass here. Pak 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 Pak. Then you elaborate yourself, then you Mm, I do certain things together. Yeah. I can only see you making gestures and all, but hey. I still don't get the, the meaning of the quack quack quack. No, we don't steal. Please, me, if I get arrested of a thief, I can stab you. I'll kill you. We don't steal. Just do quack 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 You can go to Katamanto. There are so many things over there. You pick it, you pass a roadside. Somebody can buy. This and that. Oh, please, you can get your queens to come and, come and settle your family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think so. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at drdamages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, You Are Not Alone, hmm. by Mrs. A.A. Anonymous. Hmm. And it says, Never get tired of doing little things for others. Sometimes those little things occupy the biggest parts of their hearts. Aww. Yeah, you know, that makes you like cry. That's Until cute. next next week. We are off next week because of Thanksgiving. Mm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Yeah. So what little things have you done for me to make what my are you heart doing for me? I mean, Your I put, whole nuts, I, I come you, here I on time. TV I come on time And you all became the time. famous all over the world and people are looking for you to marry you. What have, actually, did you see anybody writing me to marry me? Nobody. Actually, Nobody. I think it's the other way around. Uh, what? They are watching because of me. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm finished. Uh, this immigration bill, Obama, Obama. It's not good though. Now she's, she's acting up because she got her papers now. It's not good though. <laughs>